Hey guys, live. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit late, but I'm here and that's what I want to focus on. <laughs> I am, I'm really going through it, man. I am. Today, had, like yesterday was a really rough day for me, but I want to say thank you so much to, <sighs> thank you so much to all of you who have helped me, um, to have helped help me try to get to the bottom of who is doing this and where to find this person. So maybe I can call law enforcement. Um, I am really grateful for all that, for all that assistance. Um, thank you, thank you once again, once again, also once again to everybody who um, sent me those screenshots, especially the screenshots of the script that those people use. Um, it still has, it still has taken the wind out of me. Um, but then on top of it all, I got injured last night when I was roller skating. I, f I fucked up my pelvis. And um, it's really been causing pain in my back uh, a great deal. So, um, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like a little bit of a mess today. But um, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, and that, that, that's a good thing. It's a good, very good thing. I'm just moving slower. So that's why I'm on late today. Um, I will continue to dig and investigate with your help to try to get something done. Um, I know identity theft is illegal and I know harassment is illegal and I know fraud is illegal. And so I've got proof of all of those things. I just need to know where to find this fucker. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm working on that now. Um, anyway, um, today is actually Wednesday. <laughs> I know. It felt, I felt I was so off yesterday. I think I just wanted to not be in that day. I was skipping ahead. But today is actually Wednesday. And I did get to go roller skating. And I roller skated for about an hour and a half last. It was wonderful. I love roller skating. I love the community. San Diego roller skating community is just the best, best group of group of people. And they're just awesome. And I'm really grateful. Hey, Trey. I'm really grateful for, um, for you know, finding them because it's really just, it's just really cool and fun. It's just fun. Um, so that I really needed that last night, actually. Um, so, uh, thank you. Thank you to underground skate for kind of taking me out of it for a little bit and just giving me, getting my mind off it, even though I got, a, I got a, I got an injury. It just, it was, it was better than sitting at home, like stressing out. Um, so I just got to be extra careful with myself today. The color is yellow. <laughs> yes, and yellow brings charm and confidence to communication. Um, yay! Uh, oh, hello to you in Scotland, Sophie. What's up? What's up, Jackie? Hey, Trey. What's up? Oh, God. I always love t to see, like, how far around the world we go. Just awesome. So thanks for joining us, Sophie. Thanks, everybody, for jumping on. Yeah, I'm going to head right into it. The The moon is in Cancer, which is why I'm so friggin' moody. Uh. <laughs> no, but I, you know what? It's it's really not that. It's it's the physical. It's the physical. Because I, I injured my wrist in yoga last week. I was doing crow pose, and I overextended, over, went too forward, and I fell over and wrenched my wrist like that too much when I did it fucked up my wrist and then I fucked up my neck in yoga which is I gotta really be careful of when I was trying to do an arm stand and I wasn't strong enough and collapsed and landed on my head and it cracked my neck so uh and then with this and that could be I don't know like all of this adding could add it up to me being extra sensitive when I because I've fallen a lot on roller skates but I just fell backwards and I got cushion. I got cushion for the cushion, baby. <laughs> no, but I'm just kidding. That was a total joke. But I, I do, I got a big ass and the, the, it just landed right on the, the right, just right far back enough. I can feel it, it's right there. And it just sends these like shock waves up my fucking back. And I don't have an orthopedic doctor out here and I don't even think my shitty ass insurance would cover it. Um, um, yeah, anyway, but I gotta work on that. I gotta find it. I gotta find somebody because I gotta, I gotta get some help. I can't walk around like I'm 80, right? I'm only 43 <laughs> and, and I'm, and I'm very, act oh, jacuzzi. Amen, sister. I like the way you thinking, man. <clears throat> You're right. I sat 
in a shower last night in a hot shower. I sat in my hot shower just letting it run on my back for like 45 minutes last night. And it's weird. Yesterday, like all this shit is going wrong. Hello, um, Mercury retrograde. I don't like to blame it on Mercury retrograde, but I told you it's like he's going to be distracted delivering out all this other shit. <laughs> and the communications and it's all going to be crazy. Um, I don't know what it is with Instagram, but I'm, I'm filming like I always film. And when I stop filming, I usually get all these options. And one of the options is, you know, to share it on your IGTV, which I do. And then the other option is to download. I didn't get the download option yesterday. There was no download option yesterday. Wait, pre, prednisone, prednisone, dude, I'm not doing prednisone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want fixes, like, I don't want opiates. <laughs> I, I'm going to a massage therapist um, next week, so hopefully she can help a little bit. Um, oh, got distracted, I apologize. I'm gonna, broke my tailbone before it sucks. What do they do about it, Jackie? Do they just kind of say, you're fucked and got to heal on its own? Like, what do they do? For, I don't think it's a tailbone. Let me reiterate. I don't think it's the tailbone because I didn't actually land on the tailbone. It's a steroid. It will reduce the inflammation and then see how you feel. Okay. All right. All right. I'll do steroids. I'm fine. <laughs> Dude, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to call my doctor. <laughs> I'm fucking like, oh my God. MRI is expensive though. I don't want to, I don't want an MRI. They're like $3,500. I don't know if my insurance could, will cover it. Um, and then see how you feel. Okay. I might, I might need that. Cause it might be just inflammation. Cause that's kind of what it feels like, you know, just that discomfort. I don't think anything's broken because it's still mobile, right? But it's just, there's discomfort there. So it's probably swelling. And I just got to let myself rest. So that's why I know about these things. I know you know about these things. <laughs> um, a good healer acupuncture. Uh, you know, ac acupuncture is always something that I wondered about. But is Jackie still on? Could, did, she, did she answer? Jackie, if you're still on, let me know. Like what they did for you when you broke your tailbone. Or they just, nothing to be done heals on its own. Uh, thanks, Jackie. And um, thank you. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> So I gotta just suck it up, man. Did you have to like lay a certain way or like be on, you know, like, like don't lay on your back or something. Don't sit too long. I notice when I sit, I'm uncomfortable and my head's starting to ache because there's just a lot of tension here. Yeah, something's up, guys. Something's up. Something's up. Um... So that's where I am right now, and that's why I'm late, not wearing any lipstick. I usually put a little lip gloss on because, uh, you know, my lips are very small. <laughs> so when I don't have lip gloss on, it hurts like a mother. Sit on a donut. Okay. Lay down pillow under knees. Okay. Thank you. Pillow between your knees. Lay on your side. It relieves some of the pressure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Ooh, let's get into the cards. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so what the fuck was that with uh, Instagram, though? I want to know. Like, with, why did I not get the option to download my video? I didn't get to put my daily tarot card reading up until just now because it took me forever to, like, I had to, I had to, like, I had to record it from my screen and then edit it. Like, it, it took forever. So, Yeah. Anyway, yeah, anyway, you ready? Let's get into the cards. Let's see what the cards have to say. End of something, end of pain, end of stress, end of end, the end, the end, done. Looking at it like, peace out, you did. Like this is over, it's over and it's done. The eclipse has happened. It's over and it's done. The eclipse has happened. And then we have the five of cups. So still looking at something, looking back, regretting, looking back. 
not re with regrets, but like looking at what you've lost more than what you've gained. And then we have the judgment card. So this is a dawn of a new day. Okay. We have the power here to make our own decisions. We've been given a second chance. This is take action now or action will be taken for you. But this is, but what are you talking about? I don't have enough information. And then this is the eight of pentacles, something you're working hard at. You enjoy the work, you love the work. Um, and then we have the four of pentacles, which is financial stability. Sometimes it's getting stuck, like having money make you almost too afraid to do things. Could just be mean being conservative with your finances right now. Trying to stabilize. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Wish fulfillment. The Tower. This is trying to pick up all the pieces of something happening. Okay, this is the magician and this is justice. Maybe going to the extreme, justice, making a decision. Okay. This is weird. Hmm, give me a second. You know, it may not be very clear right now why things happened, but ultimately I think something just, I know this is gonna be sound really obscure, but give me a second. It's like something happened recently. That seems like it sucks. Um, but it is the beginning of the end of the unraveling of a situation. It's almost like justice is taking action. Cosmic justice is taking action. And it's got to take action through this means. Because if it doesn't take action through these means, then somebody will be made wise to it or led on to it. In other words, the way things are working out now, they're working out. to really not just put things back into balance because justice isn't just about putting things back into balance. It's about serving up right and wrong. It's about serving up what, what, like what is deciding what's right and wrong, making the decision about who, who wins and who loses. So, um, there's just this sense of watchfulness. I gotta say, it just it keeps coming, like watchfulness. There's always people watching something, looking at something, investigating something. So it could be investigative. Especially with the two of swords here. Just confusion, you don't have enough information. But this is like, keep working on it. And this is, I have to say, I, I got this feeling this whole this whole morning was, just be really diligent. All you can control right now is your focus on your work. Just keep doing what you're doing and what you can do. And let other things unravel themselves because they are. They are, they're unraveling themselves. There is like the worst has happened though I don't think we realize it, but the worst has happened. It's gonna be hard to not focus on that. Um, 
I think it's very difficult right now. There's maybe, maybe things are coming at us too quickly for us to even see that some of these things are good. It's good that these things are happening. And they may feel like tower moments, but they're not actually tower moments. They're actually like, I don't know. It's like they're, they're, it's weird, but they're opportunities, but they're not opportunities for you specifically. They're opportunities for kind of like justice itself to rebalance itself. And it's like flinging around you and you feel like you're in the middle of warfare, but it's actually kind of in your defense, even though everything's kind of blowing up around you and the gunshots are all over the place and you're like, holy shit, I'm under attack. It's actually not you're under attack. It's actually they're coming in to level those individuals who are, or those situations that are giving you great anxiety. So right now, the anxiety today may very well be just about everything changing so quickly, everything happening so rapidly, and not really being able to comprehend everything that's happening because it's happening so quickly. So the secret today is to just focus on work on your diligence, on doing yourself due diligence, on just being patient with yourself and just just where you can affect this, not even change, consistency. It's almost like you're trying to give yourself consistency right now in the middle of everything changing. And that's good. That's good because you need, it's not like you're trying to stop things from changing, but you're finding a focal point. You know, it's like um, in the middle of a spin, they call it spotting, right? It's like in, in, in order to stabilize yourself during a tumultuous time, you're focusing, you're hitting a point. So this is the secret to success right now. And ultimately that focus is going to enable you to put these pieces back, rebuild after the crumbling and it's good shit. It's good shit. And all of that is happening now, which is why now is so fucking crazy. So we have a time for healing, balsamic moon. A time for healing. Huh. Okay. I gotta I just have to take this serious, okay? A time for healing. <laughs> and then we have step out of your comfort zone. Then we have that north node there. So of course check your own north node. Um, and see what characteristics you need to apply to your own life in order to help yourself move forward. Um, we are still North Node in Gemini right now. You can study up on what that means. But ultimately what it means is in order to heal, you have to try things in a way that you never tried them before. Because right now it's like doing the same old thing is, is not, it's kind of what's making you sick. Right? So a time for healing, allow, allow yourself the time for healing and then step out of your comfort zone. So it actually may be uncomfortable for somebody to um, allow themselves to heal instead of just like, I'm going to push through it. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Something like that. Not necessarily in that scenario, but take it as a metaphor. It's like what you normally would do in this situation, don't do. <laughs> Money, money, okay, this is money coming to us or having access to money. And then we have uh, children, uh, maybe paying for our children, exceptionality, maybe one of our children is exceptional, doing exceptional work and money's coming in for them, or we're gonna have money to be able to provide for our children. Music, which is harmony and balance, Something here really resonates with somebody and it's making them have a breakthrough. And then we have keys that opens up opportunities for them. And the children could just represent you're new at this. This is a new opportunity. It's like somebody is drawn to that sense of unique, new uniqueness about you or about someone you know. Um, and there's profit here. There's a great deal of abundance coming through because of it, because something really resonates. That's what the music is saying. The keys are the keys to the kingdom. 
So it may really seem like things are falling to shit right now, but I don't think they are. I mean, they are, but it's almost like, dude, it's almost like, it's almost like you have an earthquake and your whole fucking house collapses and holy shit, if that's not traumatic, right? But because of these fissures now in your yard, you discover an oil well. Suddenly your mother, you're the, you're, you're, suddenly you're fucking J.R. Ewing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, holy shit, liquid gold, yo. You know, like, it, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like all of this crumbling is happening to like get you to see and look at and discover the unknown information that you needed. Um, um, like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, yeah, an earthquake happening and part of a mountain collapsing. And then all of a sudden we discover fossils that end up answering questions. We would have never been able to get in there without the earthquake because it was in a mountain, right? But all of a sudden now it's like all these fossils were found are answering all these questions that solve a lot of issues. It's that. I'm not predicting that that's what's going to happen. I'm saying that that's like the metaphor here. All this crumbling and destructuring is actually exposing some shit that's like solid gold. Obstacles and challenges are here. Okay. It was coming out in the future, actually. Obstacles and challenges. Love begins. You know, I had cousins that met that way. My cousin had gotten into an accident or broken his leg or something and he was hospitalized and he ended up meeting a nurse that is still his wife to this day. It's kind of like that. You know, clearly breaking your leg is not something any of us want to experience. But when you put it all together with you just met the love of your life and the person you're going to build a happy home with for the next 40 years... I take the broken leg. It's kind of like that. You know, it's kind of like that. This isn't comfortable situation, but it's actually just sort of leading us to, and this is all coming out in the past, rest, uh, rest and rejuvenate. So we overworked ourselves. We didn't, we didn't, right? And we literally drained ourselves of our power because we didn't give ourselves enough time to rest. And then destiny, we're working against our own destiny because we're working in fear. We're scared. We're pushing ourselves out of fear this is not what we're destined for and and we're it's like we're working towards something we're not even destined for and then financial and material changes it's it's you're you're fucked like the finances are now being taken away and intuition is you're not listening to your intuition recognition and reward you're not getting anything in other words the universe was not trying to be mean to you. They were trying to tell you, yo, you're doing the wrong thing. You're paying attention to the wrong thing. You're in the wrong career. This is why we keep closing the doors. Because this is not where you're supposed to be. And you're sitting there, well, I guess I better just go to work even harder and do work even more. And you're like, they're like, no, that's counterintuitive. We're closing these doors for you because... It's just not meant to be. You're supposed to be in a different direction. So what we should do, because it's okay for us to be confused. We got the two of swords there. And that's the card that keeps jumping out at me because I feel very confused myself, right? Um, but it's just stop and say, God, listen. Can you make this as blunt as possible? Because I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I think you're trying to tell me something. And honestly... I just need to know, if you don't want me to head in this direction, what direction do you want me to head in? Like, I am so confused right now, and the way you're trying to communicate it with me, or as I appreciate it, it's not helping me. I need a door to open, not all these doors to close. If, you know, it's like, it's like that old, it's like that old, um, it's like, it's like that old, um, little story that I, that you heard as a kid where the sun and the wind had a competition and they decided they saw a person walking with a jacket and said who can get them to take off their jacket first so the wind blew and blew and blew try to use all his strength and all his power to blow that jacket off but the harder the wind blew the more the person just gripped their jacket and curled up into themselves and held on to that jacket for dear life and so the sun then comes out and says, my turn. And the sun just makes everything bright and shiny and beautiful and warm. And the person's like, oh, and he takes off his jacket. And it's almost like that. It's almost like, can you just stop trying? Like, I, 
me, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm pushing myself too hard. I'm the fucking hot air windbag. And I just need to like give myself a fucking second so I can relax and strip off that coat and just let the day be the day. But it's also a prayer to God saying, Lord, I know you're trying to direct me to do something, but this isn't working for me. <laughs> I need a different way. Like bring out the sunshine so I can feel okay. And then maybe, and then I can go in the direction you want me to go if it's clear, because right now I'm confused and it's okay to say that you're confused and it's okay to pray for clarity. It's not okay to keep working at something that is making you miserable and hurting you as my body continues to deteriorate. Okay, so co-create is here. And then milk. Ooh, you might be finding the perfect partnership. And, it's, and it's, it's also saying that you're not supposed to be doing all the work by yourself. You're supposed to be taking in a partner, friendship, something like that. It's through other people and their skills and talents. And it's through connection. It's, it's not through taking all the responsibility on yourself. You're isolating yourself and putting yourself in your own private hell. It's through reaching out, connecting, and trusting the talents and skills and knowledge and ability of others. That's really going to help you through this. And then we have, we, we got these yesterday, thinker and between worlds. This transition period is to help you understand. This transition period is going to be confusing, but it's there to make you ask questions and see things and think deeply about things and sort of not even necessarily get to the bottom of things, but to make you think in a different way right? That, this is a contemplative time. And sometimes all we can do is sit back and watch because we don't have that power. Questioning your beliefs. Why do you think that things are like questioning your beliefs is actually why do I, why do I believe these things? Is it because it was a good lesson or a bad lesson? Have, have these things been proven to be true or are they just things that I believe that are blocking me? Because this is about realizing that there are things that are blocking your path that you because you believe them. Because you believe them. Intuition, your intuit, ooh, intuition. Intuition is, a, is sort of like a, an outcome of experience and wisdom. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like that sixth sense that you get because it's like all, it's, it's almost like the, the, the a melting pot of where all the data you've collected from your five senses kind of like goes to the intuition and melts there. And that's the intuition It's like, I've collected all this data all these years through my sight, my smell, my taste, my ears, my feeling. I've, I've collected all this information and it, it's like this, your intuition is the automatic response of all those five senses. It's like, I know what's going on here. I got to get myself out of the situation or I know this is going to be a good situation. It's actually not um, like even your psyche. Intuition is, is your learned experiences that are happening like that. So intuition and then wings of light. Somebody's watching over you. Somebody's taking care of you. And somebody is almost like helping you to relearn what you think you've learned. It's like Yoda says to Luke, you must unlearn what you have learned. I fucking love it. You know, that's what it is. It's like you have to unlearn what you've learned because what you've learned is keeping you restricted in ways that is cutting you off from the force. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor y'all it's a metaphor um peacock raise your standard 
I love how blunt this car is, car is. It's like, bitch, please raise your standards. I swear to God, I love it. I love it, dude. Raise your standards. <laughs> uh, thank you. Children, know that your children are protected. Your children are going to be fine. And I think that this doesn't have to just be children. It's that anybody that we're taking care of. A lot of times we do, we stick ourselves into situations uh, that are really bad for us. And we keep taking hits because, you know, we, we, we want to take care of our family, right? But it's like, stop. Your kids are fine. Raise your standards for yourself and discover your courage. Bam. Your kids are going to be fine. Or anybody that you're taking care of. We get stuck in these situations thinking that, oh, we're going to let other people down. They need us. What's going to happen to them if something happens to me? I know. I know. I am treasured. And this is coming in the future. But this is, you know what? You're really, you are a treasure. And you're really, like that treasure inside of you is really meant to be discovered. Now I'm getting irritations in my whole arm. And this is it. This could have been exacerbated from last night because when you fall back and you, you know, like have that shock impact, it kind of reverberates all the way up in your spine. Your spine takes the whole shock. But um, this started from when I fucked myself up earlier in uh, yoga. does not have to talk if it doesn't want to. Wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. And it says Jade, so if you guys want to do some crystal work, it might be, I don't know, even just um, like a tangible reminder if you keep some Jade on you, with you, Jade jewelry. Um, yeah, it could help to heal you, but I think it's more important to like have the brain focus and just that reminder of it's time for me to heal. Like having that stone in your pocket. So maybe you might want to carry some jade on you for that constant like energy exchange to get your mind into healing. Um, okay. So we have faith. Do not lose faith. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. I love that. Archangel Sandolphin, I have heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. I told you. I t I'm, let me, t God, just pray sincerely from your heart. It's, it's, it's happening. And then we have uh, determination. Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. Nice. Destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. Okay, what does this mean? Guys, stay focused on what calms you. Allow yourself to heal. Your prayers have been heard. They are at, right now being answered. Have faith because it's all working itself out. All this craziness has got something behind it. And that something is your destiny to level up. Thank you guys for hopping on with me today. I thank you for uh, uh, universe saying rest. Yeah, it's definitely saying rest. It's definitely saying take care of yourself. And it's definitely saying keep your mind focused on um, 
productivity. Not pushing yourself, but like, like creating. Keep your mind focused on creativity, creating. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Because it's a good way to like get your energy out without like killing yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna get offline. I'm gonna get offline and I'm gonna just take my little bit of rest and then I got, I got some videos to do. Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, God, Aquarius, you need to watch your videos. I don't fucking know what's going on, but it was a bomb reading yesterday. Um, yeah, and then uh, I don't know what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio's views are half what they were last week. They were steadily going up. Now, all of a sudden, they plummeted down. Sagittarius, Libra's up there. Libra's awesome. Libra was like neck and neck doing the same as Scorpio. It was, it was pretty awesome, Libra, so thank you so much. I don't know what's going on, I, but, I, but I, I, feel like it's, I feel like it's intentional because that doesn't make any sense, even for the algorithm. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it debuted at the same time as last week's. Last week's was like 21,000 views, and then this week's, I, I'm going to be surprised if it even gets to 14. So, and it, it just like it doesn't make any sense because if it's popular, they recommend it. So it does for the algorithm, it doesn't seem to add up that all of a sudden there'd just be such a drop in views unless it's happening all over the place. So I don't I don't really know about that. But I just gotta like focus on the fact that, you know, I am interested in the readings and um I I take pleasure in this discovery, this journey through the cards, and that's what I want to focus on. But right now, what I'm going to focus on is maybe calling my fucking doctor because I might need to like investigate. This neck is really starting to bother me. Um, anyway, if you know of anybody still, I am still looking uh, or taking suggestions about some sort of forensic uh, sort of forensic investigation. Somebody who's a specialist in in this kind of online sleuthing, so that uh, they can get to a real person in order to. Um, maybe take some actual action in the real world because you know what you do online impacts people in the real world it has real it real world um effects and ultimately um yeah if you're a criminal you're a criminal i don't care if you're doing it online or in the real world and you deserve to be caught so if any of you have any suggestions or know of anybody i would please ask you to dm me um there not just their email address, but their website. So I can like, uh, you know, um, investigate, not investigate, but yeah, yeah. Look, look at their services and also look at maybe their costs and their pricing. Um, but ultimately I'm just kind of like really fucking sick of all this. Instagram's not helpful. YouTube's not helpful. Google doesn't do shit. In fact, they seem to create systems that these people thrive in because it helps them hide. And, um, ultimately there's there's got to be there's got to be some justice somewhere so uh yeah send me any of that information that if you know of anybody i've gotten a few suggestions i got one suggestion yesterday um one one of you guys is actually helping me to uh she's doing some investigation work herself so ultimately yeah let's find these motherfuckers i want addresses i want names and faces but i want a place to make an arrest that's what i want i'm tired of being bullied by you pieces of shit so Anyway, not you guys. If you know of anything, let me know. Because even though this happens online, like I said, this is a real world offense. And we, it's got to stop happening. It's got to stop. So thank you so much for all your support through this really crazy week of mine. And I will definitely see you on here tomorrow. Hope, cross your fingers, that they give me a download button. Because, mm, Dog the bounty hunter. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, shop, uh, shop, uh, lo lovely. That's that's a cute name. I I got really pissed off at Dog the bounty hunter because of his recent uh his recent activity on this um new new case uh with uh, this this poor little girl Gabby who got who got killed um and then of course her disappearing fiance. So anyway. I just don't think like he's he's knocking on this kid's parents door and you know why he's doing it he's doing it he's not doing it because he gives a fuck he's doing it because his career was waning and he wants to get himself into some fuck fucking public spotlight and that's the kind of disgusting shit that happens online and in media now and it really get makes me sick to my stomach but I know what you're talking about I know you're just joking um I really need some uh, I really need an online 
forensic specialist so that he can that there's somebody that can investigate this. Hopefully, you get the help and justice. Thank you so much. Keep your prayers out there for me. Keep your fingers crossed. And like I said, keep you know uh, keep your eyes on the lookout and um, let me know. I have a friend who followed up with a romance scam and and that is what it turned out to be. What did it turn out to be? A romance a romance scam or just like like a real person? Uh l- let me know, let me know what what um what outlets they followed up with. If if you can get that information that would be really cool. That would be really cool because these people are crooks and they're, they harass people and, um, they're pieces of shit, man. Anyway. So yeah, you, uh, read the message above, oh, read the message above. Wait, I have a friend who followed. Oh, I think those scammers are usually connected to organized crime. It's like a garage full of computers and a team of people running those scams in shift work. I think you're right. I think that you're right. And, um, yeah, I think you're right. I, I I think you're right. (laughs) So, um, yeah, you guys let me know. Let me know if you like, um, if you can tell me what outlets they used, I would be really, really grateful. Um, and I'm grateful for, for all your help. I really am. And your support, of course. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks guys. Hello, this is your daily tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries.